Not all superheroes wear capes. In fact, this one prefers fur and has a tail he likes to wag. And an owner who now has a tail too of heroics. Marley the Labrador was a key player in the rescue of a small dog being swept out to sea at Petone Beach yesterday as its upset elderly owner watched on unable to help. Proud owner Steve Shepherd explains what happened next. We've been on a nice walk along the beach and we're walking back from the lagoon area and I saw a lot of people walking along and staring out to the sea and I thought, oh, this is standard, this is probably just dogs having fun. Then I realised that there was um, so a couple of people looking quite concerned and an older lady crying and looking incredibly distressed. Then I looked out and realised there was a little sort of foxy Highland Terrier cross dog out in the sea and it was clearly distressed and agitated. It was jumped, its little paws were splashing up and down and it was yelping and everything. So it was frantically and, trying to get back to shore, was it? Yeah, it was. It was sort of swimming in a line. Best way to describe it, it was swimming in a line, but it was like it was getting pushed out to sea. So it was swimming away from the shore. And along that bit there, it's a walkway and it's a two metre drop down to the sea level. So there was nowhere for it to come up to the beach. And the dog was really distressed. There was an amazing lady, and unfortunately I don't have her name, but she'd sort of stripped down and was waiting in after the dog, trying to catch it, but had said that as soon as she got near, the dog got scared and sort of mm. moved away. So I was walking along with my dog, Marley, and um, next thing I know, I'm looking around going, hmm, might be time for me to jump in and help out here. And next thing I know, my dog's jumped off the um, walkway into the sea and starts swimming towards the distressed dog. Wow, so, were you surprised? Totally surprised. He had never, um, he's never had any training like that. He's a wonderful dog, awesome soul, really positive boy. But, yeah, he just jumped and swam towards the dog. And the dog sort of just looked a bit shocked. It was all a bit of a blur when you're in that sort of shock situation. But he swam towards the dog and sort of went up to him and sort of nuzzled him, for want of a better word, and did what I'd describe as sort of like a tugboat and went round the seaside of the dog and sort of nudged him. And that encouraged the dog to turn around and towards shore and start swimming towards shore. And did he stick and with him? Did Marley stick with him back to shore? As much as he could, yeah. And then, um, then there's another gentleman um, who was also another hero, just stripped down his underwear and jumped straight into the sea um, and to go and grab the dog and then pass them up to the very grateful owner. Oh, fantastic. So you're, between your dog and two other humans, you managed to get yeah. this little terrier to shore. Yeah, and as I say, it was just it was just one of those things. But the the thing that was so well, obviously, the great news is the dog's fine. But the thing that was so amazing to me in this world of social media we live in, not no one of us had stopped to take photos or video it or anything like that because I think we're all just thinking, gosh, we might have to jump in and help the poor dog. So, so you were in the moment, was, basically. Yeah, you're just in the moment. Can you know, I mean, I imagine I'd be heartbroken if that was my dog. I would just be. I'm um, doing it, but like, yeah, as I say, I was walking, walking towards it. I heard this commotion, and nobody knew whose dog it was at first. So it was just like, there's this dog going out to sea, and as I say, I've never seen Marley, our dog, like swimming, but I've never seen him do that, jump off before, and just sort of go out to the dog and steer him into shore. But then when the other guy jumped out, Marley, um, the, gen the guy jumped off the um, path, Marley swam back to me. So I then had to jump down and lift Marley back up, all 35 kilos of him. <laughs> so it and was a, a how bit was the of an little, adventure. How was the little terrier when it was handed back to its owner, and how was the owner? Um, Owner was obviously very grateful but quite distraught with it all and then some lovely person went and got towels and things for people um, to, to um, dry off and everything but yeah I just think the um, if you look at Petone Beach on Google Maps there's the dog walking here to the left but um, it was sort of to the right there and there's no easy access back up to the beach so I don't know, I can only imagine that what happened is he was swimming along the beach and just kept on getting swept along. So do you know um, who these, the, the identities of the human heroes and also the little dog's owner? No, and that's the worst thing because it was sort of just really the adrenaline kicked in and we realised that everyone was okay. 
we just went our own ways. It's just classic sort of low-key New Zealand behaviour, I think. Just, <laughs> all right, situation solved, get back in the car because we were cold and wet and um, went on about doing our own thing. So, no, I don't. But, I mean, just huge respect for those two people. I mean, it wasn't... Oh, I should always say it's, it was a beautiful day in Wellington every day is what I should do, say, but the sea wasn't exactly tropical, so for that lady to be paddling along behind and then the guy to dive in was just, it was really selfless act by them and our dog Marley, so it was, it was just really nice, it sort of shows you the sense of community we have and that, real, that there are real life heroes out there. So, Marley, did you give Marley a bit of a pat? Make Marley a superhero cape? Any treats? <laughs> he was quite spoiled. He um, he came home and he was just really tired after his big swim. So he sort of sat curled up on his blanket, but he had some steak for dinner and had a few treats during the day. And once he got it, once I lifted him out of the water, a couple of the people who were looking, um, they had some treats for their dogs that they were walking and they gave him some treats. So he really enjoyed that, I think, to be honest he didn't really know what all the fuss was about. <laughs> Top shelf, eh? Steak, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, yeah, he, he enjoyed that. I think he could get quite used to dining on steak. That's Steve Shepherd, owner of Marley.